Do you have a North Star metric in your business? Do you actually know what a North Star metric actually is? So we're going to talk about this and much more in today's video. Let's get started. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so I was going to do a video on Power BI goals, but it would be irresponsible from my side to do a video on goals without talking about first how to properly set goals. I know there's a lot of companies that get this wrong, and if you get this wrong, the consequences can be actually quite devastating. We're going to, I'm going to give you examples at the end of the video of metrics that can go very, very wrong. A North Star metric is a key measure that will be an indicator of value for your customers and a leading indicator of growth for your company. So it will tell you if you're giving value to your customers through your service, through your product, and also it will tell you if you're actually making money out of that. And it's a leading indicator, not a lagging one. So let me know if you want me to explain in another video the difference in case you don't know. I'm sure that with that definition, you're still wondering, like, what, what is it? When I still don't know what you mean. Examples. Let me put some examples that will clarify for sure what that is and why it is so useful. First example, what do you think it would be the North Star metric for the Power BI service? As an example, for the Power BI service, you know, the one in the cloud, a good North Star metric would be the number of active, active, I'm, I'm really putting emphasis on the word active users in the platform, okay? And why I say active is the key word. Well, think about it. It's always, in my opinion, KPI should always have an adjective, okay? Otherwise, it could be absolutely anything. They have to be very, very specific. So let's say that you define the North Star metric for Power BI service as number of users signing into the platform. You might say, hey, that, that could be a good thing, right? So you get new users, you get more revenue. But remember, it has to bring, for being a North Star metric, it has to bring value to your customers and growth. The number of users to the platform, it brings only growth. And it brings only growth now. Because if you are not bringing value, they could drop out of the platform at any point. But if you get a an user and your users are active, hopefully it means that you are giving them value because they are constantly using the platform. Obviously, you could define and go even deeper into what that means that you should do that. But the number of engaged active users, it is a wonderful North Key Star metric for the Power BI service. Next example, Power BI community you know, the, the forum, what do you think it would be a good North Star metric for that? Just pause the video, I'll wait for you, and think about it, and then come back and let's see if your answer matches mine. Okay, so what do you think it was? In my opinion, a very solid, good, North Star metric for the Power BI community would be the number of questions solved. And I am putting the emphasis now on the word solved, not the number of questions answered, but the number of questions solved. You know that you can mark a question and answer solved? That one. That's the one I mean. Why is solved so important? Think about it. You post a question, somebody answers it, but is answering something else, you don't understand the answer, you have no idea, it didn't help you. You have to go somewhere else to ask the same question. That does not bring value to your business. So the number of questions answered is not a measure for value to your customer. On the other hand, the number of questions solved, it is, because it means that somebody posts a question and the person that got the answer said that yes that work for me. And if you get, you ask questions and you get them solved, let's say the Power BI community had, you know, we're making money based on ads. So the more people ask questions and got answers, the more questions they would ask, more revenue for ads. Now, Power BI community is not driven by ads, so that is not their motivation, but the motivation for the Power BI community is actually to get the questions 
solved, not answered, to get the question solved, so people can find help to the problems they have with the software and they can continue and enjoy using the software. You know, a lot of people choose software based on the community, how big and how helpful the community actually is. That's true. So there is a very, the Power BI community plays a very, very important role into the actual product itself. So the number of questions solved is actually a very important metric. For me, the North Star metric for them. So let's do one more. How about the North Star metric for Azure Synapse or Azure Synapse? What do you think it would be a good metric? The North Star metric, not a good metric, the North Star. It has to bring value to the customer and it has to be, bring revenue to you, okay? I'm waiting, no problem. I'm still here. Think about it. Pause the video. Okay, you got it? A good solid North Star metric for Azure Synapse would be the average number of records stored per account. Okay, so what you do, you are putting more and more data. The more and more data you put in because you are paying per usage, it means that you are actually finding value. Otherwise, you will cut the cord, right? So as long as they are storing more data means that they are getting value and because they are storing more data you are actually getting more revenue out of it okay so the number of records or the average records per customer or per account could be a good North Star metric for a short synopsis. Now I want to do a note one and then we will stop at that so what do you think it would be a good North Star metric for Power BI desktop? It is a free product but still plays a very important role in the Power BI platform. Got it? I give you more time, don't worry. Okay, so what do you think? What is a good North Star metric for Power BI desktop? So you might be thinking that, hmm, for Power BI desktop, I would say the same as Power BI service, and, you know, usage, like active users, but I would say a little bit different. Think about it. Like Power BI Desktop is the entrance into the Power BI world, right? That, that, that's the one that, you know, I believe it, you know, people get started with. You download it, it's completely free, you play around, you take a course, and then you decide if you like it or not. And for that reason, I would have for a key star metric for a Power BI desktop, the five minutes to wow that they had in the very beginning, you know, that was the slogan and you say, Power BI desktop, five minutes to wow. <laughs> and I think it's a fabulous metric, North Star metric, because, you know, once you open Power BI, probably you get overwhelmed about all this stuff. You probably heard about that. Oh my God, it's so hard, it's so difficult. It takes a long time, blah, blah, blah. So you need to motivate yourself to continue using it. And because that is the, you know, the entrance into the Power BI world, they, they want to capture new users, hopefully with Power BI desktop. So you want the users that test Power BI for the first time to continue using them, to say like, oh, that was freaking amazing. I want to know more, right? And then stick with the product. And you're probably wondering like, <laughs> so how do you measure five minutes to wow? Well, here's the thing. You can measure absolutely everything, everything. There's nothing that you cannot measure, but in order to be able to measure anything, you have to actually do some work, okay? So hopefully this gives you an idea what a North Star metric is. And when you are putting goals into Power BI goals, when you're creating KPIs, you need to be mindful about how you define your metrics and your KPIs so you don't get into trouble. So North Star is a key metric that will indicate if your customer is getting value and you're getting revenue, okay? And the way you define your metrics has a huge impact on the actual outcome. You have to be very, very careful about how you define them. If you define the metrics correctly, it will lead to growth and revenue. 
If you don't, you could generate the wrong behavior, the exact opposite of what you're trying to achieve and decrease your revenue. So you need to be very careful about how you define your metrics, okay? Now you need to do this before you go into Power BI goals and start writing stuff. It's a very, very important work. Now, let me know in the comment box if you would like to have a video talking about leading and lagging indicators, KPIs, and if you would like me to do that video about how to measure anything. I think they're so relevant before actually going into Power BI and creating goals and creating scorecards, because again, a bad metric could get you into a lot of trouble. So do you have a North Star? Curious to know, let me know if you enjoyed the video, if you would like to have more videos like it, and I will see you again, hopefully next week. Maybe, maybe I'm going skiing, we'll see.